Now we know. Aisha Durgahi at Heathrow Airport. BA, which of course owns Heathrow Airport and to some extent is ground zero in this debate over security that Martin Broughton was talking about. BAA operates six airports, including Heathrow, and today it also announced losses which have narrowed by 75%. Record passenger numbers uh, helped cut its nine-month loss to $303 million. It had made a $1.2 billion loss for the same period last year. Extensive passenger security checks put a strain on the airport. And I asked BAA's chief executive, Colin Matthews, if the current measures are more officious than efficient. Well, listen, what everyone knows and understands is the first uh, priority is to make sure that passengers are safe. That's not an optional. We have to do that. Second thing I think, I hope un people understand, is that it's governments who set what um, the security requirements are. But I think we can have a constructive voice. The industry should have a constructive voice in saying how we do it so that it's got the, uh, the best, most comfortable uh, arrangements we can from the point of view of uh, passenger service. So if we can start from a blank sheet of paper and pull together a single coherent process instead of what we have today, which is one requirement layered on top of another, then I think we can do a better job for passengers. So um, I, I, let's, just, let's put the safety on the table. Everyone agrees that that is the first, foremost and only criteria. But once we've all agreed on that, do you agree with Mr. Rolton? What I agree is we could do it better for passengers. What we do today is incremental. It's one requirement laid on top of another. One issue, one terrorist attack, and as a consequence, a new requirement. And we need to start with a blank sheet of paper and design it coherently from the start. And those discussions have started, actually, with government. And I'm reasonably optimistic that uh, we can make progress. Of course, we'd love to do it all, change it all tomorrow. But it's going to take a little time. But um, yes, we can do a better job. So your message is change is coming, but not just yet. Yes, and that discussion has started. And uh, we can have a positive role um, around the table saying not just what do we want to achieve, but how do we make it happen in a way that's comfortable. Let's look at your results now, if, if, if you may. Um, they're an interesting set of results, aren't they? Um, the curate's egg, <laughs> interesting in parts, because they tell us a lot about what's happening in economies. I think it's good news for the economy for two very good reasons. One is the growth in business travel. You know, Heathrow's job is to connect UK's business to global markets. Some global markets are growing strongly. It's really important that our economy is out there taking part in that growth. So that business travel growth is, I think, obviously good news for the airport, very good news for the airlines, our customers, and uh, good news for the economy. But the fly in the ointment has been an austerity slowdown in the UK and, of course, in other major markets, uh, for example, the United States, which will have its own cutbacks in due course. Well, it's true that leisure travel is not as strong as business travel. Uh, but in our case, and the results we're announcing today, clearly Heathrow is the biggest uh, driver of those. And we like that. There's a second very good news economically. You know, every bit of uh, EBITDA we generate, £690 million in nine months, practically every pound of that, reinvested in the airport to make the airport better. We want to make it better for customers, and we're pleased to be able to do so. Without a third runway, and even though with your expansion programme in place, is it inevitable? that Heathrow loses its premier spot to, to a Frankfurt, uh, a Paris within Europe. Over time, without doubt, destinations will move to those other airports. But that issue has been settled for a period of time. We're focused on improving customer service today and we can make progress. We're better today than we were a year ago. We really want to make sure that um, uh, improvement continues in the current year and I believe we can. That is the chief executive of BAA, Colin Matthews.